Hello, listeners. This is Form. And this is Formcast episode 75. Yes, yeah, 75. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, uh, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're listening, good evening, if you're listening right before bed, or if you're like some of my listeners, just accidentally uh, finding it on Spotify as it comes into the recommended playlist for them, because the universe is telling them, listen to Form some more. With that being said, I want to talk about something that is probably one of the most exciting times in here, uh, in old Canada, because, you know, our seasons change uh, ever so quickly and uh, uh, summer is so short. But I want to talk about summertime. I want to talk about a bit of an update of what my summer might look like. Uh, it's June 3rd today, so we just started the month of June. It's a Monday. It's sunny outside. It's supposed to be like 27 degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is like probably feels like 300 or something close like that. I don't know. I don't carry the ones when I do my multiplication or long division. So it probably doesn't work out that way. But summertime, I actually just went away last weekend, this past weekend to uh, see some friends down south in the Toronto area. Absolutely crazy. And um, the, the traffic was wild. And lo and behold, after I got there, um, was advised that the PGA Tour uh, Canadian Open, the RBC Canadian Open for golfing, PGA Tour, right, uh, was exactly where I was. Um, it was being held there, so the traffic was insane. The, there's so many people around. Uh, but nonetheless, went there, visited some friends. The weather was wonderful. Did some biking, did some hiking, ate some pizza, ate some ice cream. I can for sure say I had a lot of fun, and I can for sure say that the diet also had a lot of fun. Uh, stomach's feeling it today, though. I think I had too many carbs. With that being said... Summertime is, I mean, some of you uh, that might be listening are uh, are somewhere in the world where it's always nice. It's always, uh, I'm going to use Celsius because that's all I know, but like 20 degrees Celsius or higher, uh, hotter, I should say, uh, and the coldest it gets is like 10 to 15 Celsius, which here is like t-shirt and short weather most times. So that being said, uh, I got some plans uh, for, for coming, you know, uh, coming up uh, for the summer and it, it, it also kind of brings in the whole idea of like having to take time off and all that kind of stuff. Most times it's on weekends. I don't plan on taking like a whole week off in order to, uh, you know, to, to go anywhere in the summertime. That's probably like a winter thing when it's cold here, like to get away for um, more than just a couple of days, obviously, and make the, the time worth it and the money worth it for big trips like that. However, this summer, um, we're, uh, it, we're, we're, I'm expecting some, some fun things. Uh, for example, uh, a couple weeks away, which about about a month away. Um, July 1st is Canada Day. Uh, so it's a big celebration day, and that's going to be like cottage weekend. Uh, it's a long weekend. Everybody has the Monday off. So a long weekend. I'm going to be able to bring my dirt bike to the cottage where I'm going. going to ride the dirt bike. There's boats. There's fishing. There's uh, uh, lawn games, all that kind of stuff. Really good food. Really good friends. Really good family. Um, and I think that is something I'm looking forward to a lot. Now, again, that means like taking some time off and whatnot, but I'm very much so coming to the terms with the fact that, yes, I'm self-employed and yes, uh, uh, you know, you got to work to make that money to pay them bills and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't take any days off, you're just going to hurt yourself in the long run. And I think a lot of people understand that nowadays. So with that being said, I got that coming up. Um, fast forwarding to September, kind of skipping over uh, uh, the month of July and August. Got a wedding to go to. My cousin's getting wedding, uh, married. He's getting wedding. Yeah, what did you do this weekend? I got wedded. Uh, he's getting married in September. It is a local wedding, so but I'm hoping for nice weather in then because September is still very warm, usually for the most part, uh, and then it gets colder at the end of the month into October. So got a wedding to go to uh, this uh, later this summer as well at the start of the fall. Now, August and July, they don't really, I mean, aside from the weekend in July, there's not a whole lot planned. But that also leaves a, a lot of things open, right? It leaves uh, the ability to plan little little road trips, stuff like that. So there's a lot of places I kind of want to go. Um, with my new bike, my gravel bike, I'm really excited to maybe go to some different areas that I normally wouldn't be going because it's made for biking. It's made for uh, gravel, uh, trail riding, um, just kind of like nice pathways. Some cities have like really, really, really big uh, cyclists kind of like groups and, and they're just big on cycling. So the roads are made better for it. The, um, the city is, is designed better for it where you don't have to worry about traffic too much and all that kind of stuff. For example, this past weekend, when we went for a bike ride, we did 40 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles, but at the end of the day, went through like the city, went through some really nice, um, trails that had a lot of good scenery. Um, we're up on like, uh, um, 
forget which an escarpment that's the word i'm looking for uh way up on a giant escarpment that surrounds the city the city's almost like in a valley uh and and it was just beautiful to see right and i wouldn't be able to do that if i didn't actually go for the road trip and do that so um the summertime is a is a, for me anyways an opportunity to do things kind of outside the box um a lot of cycling planned uh maybe some time at the lake uh and i mean in other news which i haven't talked on a podcast yet but um, i think i'm just saving it for maybe later but having a new home to go to soon in about a month or so um actually at the end of june uh i take possession of a home and uh so there's going to be moving involved there's going to be renos involved there's going to be all that kind of stuff so Summertime update is really looking uh, like a little bit of work, a little bit of play, and in there is moving and renos of a new home. So there's a lot going on, but uh, if you're listening to this, please go to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's Alex Formidable XL on YouTube, same as everywhere else, and uh, write in the comments what you are looking forward to in the summer. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, and, uh, just let us, uh, let us know kind of what your plans are, what you're looking forward to, because the summertime is a lot of times is like vacation time. And a lot of people in the community have said they're going to do road trips to see family, to see friends. I know some people going to Italy, uh, in about a month and a half, which unfortunately I was planning to, but, uh, Papa form still hasn't had his surgery yet. It should be coming up in the next month or so I'm hoping. And then maybe next summer we have more to talk about as well, such as going to Italy. With that being said, it's beautiful outside. I'm going to try and enjoy some of that. Uh, and I hope it's beautiful where you are and wherever you're listening. And we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.